These real big rebuild kits, but he get here soon before I run out of saws. Just when you thought it was out of play still, Max. I dug this one out. Another 3516. 45 cc's. Not too bad of shape. Just more dirty than anything else. Throw a little fuel down the throat. Fires on prime. The other thing is, and like the other ones, get back in there and clean it up. Replace all the hoses. You know, more than likely the, the oil line is shot. Yeah. Give it a good cleaning, put it back together, carb rebuild. And this guy's ready to do some more work. I don't know. Everybody doesn't particularly care for the Plasto Max, but they're a model of simplicity. Let me get it all apart, get it cleaned out, show the inside, replace the hoses, and we can get going. Initially getting the case of 3516. Yeah, the usual cast of characters. The post <laughs> just snapped off. That's filthy, so I'm gonna pop off the flywheel, pull tank, pull the oil tank, get all the, the gunk out, get it nice and clean, put it back in. It's poor for the cost for these things. As you get it apart, there's always some surprises. <coughs> somebody's been in here before. There's the screws that hold in the tank and the oiler are gone. And there's a little little chunk out of the oiler right there. I get a few replacements. Check this tank for make sure that it's not cracked or anything. And replace these screws here. Give it a good cleaning. Pull out the oil tank, make sure that's all hunky dory. Eh, not too bad. I expected better, but it could have been worse. Still progressing with the uh, 3516. Any oil tank. See, I replaced the duckbill valve when it was in there. And flexible, but nah. I don't think there's too much more life left in that. And remember to put this little piece of felt back. It'll material in and keep it clean. And also, let me back this off a little bit. And so also in later models, there's this little spacer here. Plastic spacer. Goes right there. Just right there. It also insulates the fuel tank from the heat of the engine. So if you got one laying around like I did, like with a bunch of parts, you know, as this as the fuel tank goes in, it'll insulate it better, it'll stop the fuel from boiling over when it's hot. Let me keep on buttoning this up. Camera went wonky, and I'm not sure where I left off, but replace the flywheel. When I had on stock, hopefully it's the, it's the close enough match. I'm not sure if it's for the 32 or the 35. Uh, the timing seems to be in the right place. Uh, it, it does have spark. Yeah, I figured I'd change it. I mean, rather than that little tab is missing there, rather than break one on the other side to try to get it all nice and even, had a decent. Uh, flywheel on there, clean it up, this. start buttoning it back up, get it together, and uh, we can start working on the carb, see what that looks like. Okay, 5.16, we're now at the test your work portion of our program. Uh, let's see, changed out the busted oiler, uh, replaced the flywheel, this one's got us a chip of it missing. And cleaned it out, replaced the uh, screws, replaced the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the Lanti Vibe rubber grommet in there. Uh, new, rebuilt the carb, fuel lines, did the oiler line, uh, purge bulb, and we're about ready to 
crank it up to see what we get. See if all the work was worth it. Right, first, let me see where this carb is at. One, two, three, one, two, and almost three. That should be about right. Get a little ventilation in here. Mac 3516 up and running. Uh, cleaned out the exhaust, grease the bearing on the uh, spindle there. The other thing is I had to change out the bar. And putting it on, I noticed that the end of it was kind of bent. So it could probably cut around corners if, you, if I left it on. But I found a, actually the correct bar for it. New chain is, I don't know, about half life, but it's got a good edge on it. Now we'll let it sit 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Give it another start. Starts up no problem. 
Another one ready to find a home. Thanks for watching.